Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. 2005 Mercury Montego 3.0 liter alternator. Just an overview, too busy to do everything step by step here. But this is a quarter inch socket. Took the two lower studs out to ease the taking out the alternator. Also took out both supports over here. 18 millimeter and a 12 millimeter bracket was right here. <clears throat> took out that one, I think that was 21 millimeter there. Kind of supported with a jack and brought it down about three inches probably gave me the room to come right out here otherwise it just was not going to happen three 15 millimeter nuts hold it all in place two of the nuts hold the shield in place other pain in the butt right here you see the nut goes there the nut goes on top and the nut is right here on the side so right now i have the alternator held in place just by the nut on the top so I can hold it in place and put the stud back in over here I'm going to bolt it over here with the nut and I'll take the nut off the top and hopefully get this in next I'm hoping it'll it's, a, it's kind of a tight fit still so we'll see if we can make it in there with the alternator otherwise, otherwise I'll have to kick myself and take the alternator out to uh, get this back in here alternators slid in and on its side then we'll put the black cover in I think is the only way to do it So I have finagled and spun it around now, so the shield is now on the alternator. Got one 15 millimeter on the top, putting the other 15 millimeter on that back one. Ooh. 
Got the last stud for right here. Start all nuts and bolts by hand. Burns twice almost like. All right, I think I got everything that you need, the tough parts anyway. All right, let's take a look. Here's the plug-in that comes in the front connector there. Got this little flap connector protecting the connections, I guess, here. A couple push pins. A 10 millimeter bolt here. I don't know if I need to take it out right there for this, just in case I wanted to move this a little bit. So this is the down and dirty overview. But I think this lowering here, this is the big tip I think that's going to help you if you're trying to do this. Lower this down, make sure you have a couple jacks then supporting yourself, supporting your vehicle and your engine. You do have the tire off, five 19 millimeter lug nuts. Everything is left to loosen, right to tighten. Good luck to you. Also, a bunch of push pins in here. Sorry, but that is all I got for you today.